three prophetic classes. <laughs> One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> You've been in three classes. And you prophesied mm, twice a year. Variableness. Fragmentation. Every believer is supposed to do what Jesus said they're supposed to do. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Cast out devils. Absolutely. Speak in other tongues. Come on. If that is not a part of your repertoire, <laughs> then you're still living in fragmentation. Oh, if oh. you're not casting out devils, if you oh, can't oh. discern demonic entities, if you don't know how principalities and powers operate, if you're not flowing and moving in the gifts of the Spirit, if you don't know what the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom is, yes, if true. you don't know one of the nine gifts, if it's not an operation in your life, you are in fragmentation. Yes. Yes. To think that everything is to be done by the pastor or who been ordained by God, that is fragmentation. That should piss you off. Yeah. It should. I, I should be right in your lap right now. I am. It should make you mad. You mean I've been living fragmented? I've been coming to church, paying my tithes. But I have not allowed my, my life to be in conjunction with what my orthodoxy is. So my orthoproxy, remember we said orthodoxy is right thinking. Orthoproxy is right living. So there's a fragmentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 60 years old. I'm almost out of here. I really don't have time to prophesy. Well, Jacob was at the end of his life. He said, bring me the boys. Yes, he did. He didn't leave till they came in the room. Yes, he did. They all came before him. He gave them their destiny. He checked out. Wow. Mm -hmm. Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not the New Testament. Every believer carry the destiny of their generation in them. That's right. yeah. It's just a lot to think about, man. Yes, <laughs> yeah, my great great grandbabies. I know that well. I know it well. I don't even know them. I may be standing over the gallery, getting over the gallery, looking down on them, but I don't know them yet. But I'm, 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 I'm maxing hey, this little body out. Hey. <laughs> God, put something in me that I'm going to leave in the earth. Yeah, yeah. I want to be in a position. I want to be able to hear. I want to be able to function. I don't want to be fragmented. Yeah. Or and then the other ones, or night or shadow or turn. I don't want illusions. No, come on. Okay. Wow. No. Right. I don't want illusions. I don't want to think a certain way and can't live it. Yeah. Come on, come on, wow. come on. Religion is an illusion. Oh, yes. To think that I can belong to a church and never become a church is an illusion. Mm -hmm. To think that everything that God has placed in and divested himself in the church only belongs to a special group of people is an illusion. He said, them that believe in my name. <laughs> right, Mark? Come on now. Walk with me, y'all. <laughs> right? I know you don't feel like it. I know it's too much for you. I know it's uncomfortable to study, to read, to buy books, to connect with pioneers, other people. You got to connect with all of everything I say. At least find something to connect to. Right. Amen. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are Derek Prince was out casting out devils alone. You know he's going on to his portion. Frank Hammond, another one. Those, mm -hmm. These are pioneers in the deliverance ministry. Yeah. Our library should represent our beliefs. Mm -hmm. The collection at your house, the books you have, need to represent your belief system. Yes. Wherever you're going is in your library. Wow. Yes. The limitations in your life right now, trust me, come on, be real, be real has to do with a lack of initiative. Yes. Come on. Amen. Yes. Right? Because your hunger will guide you to the right sources. Come on, come on. Am I right? It didn't connect you. God puts the right people in my path because of my hunger. That's true. Amen. Got some things I'm doing right now investing in stuff. I'm buying books. I'm buying books. I'm buying books. I, won't, I, won't, I, won't. I, I already know. I already know what I'm supposed to do.
supposed to have. Yes. It ain't. I'm not saying it's not phony. I'm not gonna just put it in the group and just be phony with it. I'm working it out. I'm in it. I'm not just, oh yeah, we're gonna be wealthy. No, it don't go like that. You gotta apply that stuff. You gotta handle your finances. You gotta handle your money. You gotta get informed. Come on now. You gotta stand in other people's shoes. You gotta get other people's perspective. You gotta always be in the classroom. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, it's the same flavor with it when it relates to spiritual stuff. I'll tell your neighbor the same flavor. Same flavor. As it relates to spiritual stuff. As it relates to spiritual. So we need to know that there we are. We represent the good gift, the perfect gift. God's intention and what he wants to manifest in the earth is upon our shores. We got to make it with our mind and tell ourselves there's no variableness. There's no fragmentation. When apostle want me to do something, I'm ready. When we have visitors come in and, when they, and they come up for prayer and I'm a part of the team. I'm a part of the team. So I expect God to do something in me. What an honor to be able to prophesy somebody and reposition them. But it doesn't come that way. I already know why some can't because they, they don't do it privately. Wow. Whatever you do privately shows up publicly. Yes, yes, Whatever yes. you do privately or don't do privately will show up or won't show up publicly. Because yeah. it will spill over. Mm -hmm. You can try to hold it if you want to. The old saying back in there, let the devil go to the horse. But then you need to do something. Remember the old saying? You know, because something was going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know how to cooperate with the unction. Mm -hmm. They had no language. Uh, uh, they had no, yeah, no language or, or the right words to communicate mm -hmm. the language that they were feeling on the inside of them. Mm -hmm. We can't use that. We can play dumb. Come on, come on, talk to me. Right? We can play dumb. I ain't know what you mean by what you said. I ain't know what I got. You ordained me to be on the team. I was supposed to say something. Really? Yeah. If I got to come to you and tell you and point you in the direction that you need to go, that's a big problem. Amen? Sometimes we have an overinflated ego and we think we're a prophet, but we're not prophesying. Or we think we're a teacher and we don't study. We think we're an apostle, but we don't get revelation. Amen. We think we're an evangelist, but we, come, we don't communicate. <laughs> we don't exhort. Nobody want to be around you. You're a turn off. You're not an evangelist. <laughs> okay. 18. Of his own will be God, he us with the word of truth that we should be kind of a first fruit. And I told you first fruit simply means we are a down payment. We are an earnest of what God wants to do with the rest. When you hear the word remnant, that's the first fruit. It just, we don't get the big head because God plays something different in this church. Are you crazy? It just means that God is using us as in the lab. We're a test tube. <laughs> he said, I want to magnify my word, but I'm going to put it in the people first. Yeah. I'm going to work through, sort through things and get their life in order so that all of a sudden, then all the rest of them mm -hmm. can come in. Yeah. yeah, like in your family. Hey, yeah. this is the way walking in it. Yes. Yes. But most of us drop the ball because we so focused on us. I got my own life. I, he just don't let me do what I need to do. <laughs> really? It ain't your life. Go ahead. The Bible says he's the Lord of the living and the dead. Anybody else got another Bible? <laughs> That's what it says, right? That's what it says. So as a believer, he has to be my head. He can't be your feet. He can't be your arm. He can't be your eyes. Even though the eyes are in the head. But he has to be your head, which means he must be your governing force. Yes. Yes. People get themselves... They, they, 
They, they, they date, they ain't supposed to. They, they buy stuff they ain't supposed to. They get in relationships, all that crazy stuff because they have it. Once you establish him as head, everything else follows. That's good. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. I know that ain't easy. People don't want to hear that. Because we think this is some type of a nebulous stuff. When we talk about that, that of his own will, through the ministration of truth, he has brought forth a people in the earth that can represent who he is. So the invisible kingdom can have a visible representation in the earth. So this is not a nebulous stuff or a pie in the sky in the by and by. It is a realization that God has a people who know that they were born from above, this being their real place of origin, because likes because understand that light begins, begets light. Mm -hmm. So so whatever he is like, we're becoming into his likeness. Mm -hmm. So it's not an it, it, <laughs> so it's an elevation into enlightenment that will cause the authority of the truth to be written upon the hearts and minds of a people. This occurs by having the eyes of your understanding enlightened. Enlightened. This enlightenment is what, uh, this is what God told me, say, it's the engraving of my thoughts in a new creation people. Mm. So to be enlightened means that he has engraved a certain measure of his DNA that is composed of truth in your life. Yes, yes. You cannot say you've been enlightened where there's no reflection of the, his truth being engraved in your heart. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot say you've been enlightened <laughs> without the truth being engraved in your heart. Mm -hmm. This is DNA. Tell your neighbor, this is DNA. This is DNA. 